Robin and I are going to sit down and discuss the final episode of this season. Hello everyone and welcome to Happily Ever Reality. Today I am talking about Sister Wives Talk Back Part 2. And in Part 2, the Brown family, the ex-wives, the current wife, Cody, they all sit down and re-watch the final episode of Season 18. If you want to watch my video that I did about Part 1, I'm going to put a link up here. I will tell you... This is one of those things where I'm going to talk about it, but I'm not able to recap this. You definitely want to go and watch those videos. There's just no way to recap this very well, so I'm not even going to try. I'm just going to talk about some of the things that I found interesting when I was watching it. So let's go ahead and get started. Of course, one of the first things that I noticed was Robin's facial expression. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put a video up here and I don't wanna really focus on what's happening in the video as far as the talking. I want you to just watch Robin's face if you can. And what's happening in this scene is Mary is talking about her marriage to Cody and Robin just looks very unhappy and also very disinterested. At least until she hears something that she disagrees with. And this is really what Robin does most of the episode. Until she disagrees with something, she looks like she just does not want to be there and she has very little reaction. It's only when she is upset that she has something to say. And this is, this is Robin throughout the whole episode. Okay, there's one thing I left out. There is another time that Robin will give a reaction during this episode, and that is when she wants Cody to say something, and she sort of gives him a leading question. She does it a lot in this episode, and I feel like we saw her doing it more in season 18, and I think it was just because there was so much conflict, and she wanted Cody to say something, so she would try to get him to say it, or she would try to stop him from saying something. So I'm going to put a clip in here, but I want to give a little bit of context. Robin and Cody have just watched the scene where Mary is talking about her marriage to Cody and she says that the covenant has already been broken by Cody. Like he's not following through with his commitment and Robin clearly wants Cody to say something about it and here is Robin sort of leading him to what she wants him to say. From everything that you know about our covenants, would you say that you've somehow broken your covenant? I just feel like she was wanting a certain answer out of him, and it was an answer that was going to conflict with what Mary said. So I, I hope Mary watches this and at least realizes that Robin really was not on her side the way that she thought she was. But listen to Cody's answer. Listen to what Cody says. No, Mary had the affair. I didn't break covenants, and it wasn't a physical affair, so I thought we were reconcilable. So yeah, I think that question, I think the goal of it was to just take the blame off of Cody because we just heard Mary say that it was Cody's fault. He was neglecting her, not spending time with her. He was the one ending the marriage. And I think Robin was looking for Cody to give an answer that would place the blame back on Mary. But she doesn't want to do it, right? Because she doesn't want to look like the bad person. She wants to still make it look like she was on Mary's side. And I just, I just don't think that's true. And here is another time that Robin tries to um, control what Cody is saying. And in this situation, Cody has just read a comment from a viewer and Cody is responding. He doesn't like the comment that the viewer left and watch Robin try to stop him. Jeff, I think you're a uh, victim of 20 hours of our life for just 365 days. Yes, you just being nice. And honestly, she's stopping him from saying something that, you know, wasn't wasn't that bad. He wasn't really saying anything that awful. I've heard Cody say way worse on this show. I do think he took the comment from the viewer the wrong way. At least that's my opinion. But what's more interesting than that is watching Robin stop him. But then eventually he goes on and talks and it actually ends up being probably one of my favorite parts of this episode when it comes to Cody because he says something very honest about where he is right now. So this is what he says in that part of the show and I'm going to put the clip in here so you guys can watch it. Sorry. Listen, I've gone through three divorces in three years. I'm not a happy campus and I'm not nice. 
so Cody was giving, I think, a very honest answer there. Three divorces in three years. He's not a happy person right now. I think Robin wanted him to stop talking, but he is making a good point. He has had a lot of life changes. I think he did it to himself. He was the one who did all of this damage. But that doesn't mean he's happy about it. I think he's he's dealing with the consequences of his actions and inactions. And Robin wanted him to stop talking, but I'm glad he said that. He has been through quite a bit. And he's got a lot he needs to work on. So another part of the show that stood out to me is a moment where Janelle is talking about her friendship with Christine. Now, we know Cody likes to point out that Christine and Janelle didn't always get along, and he finds it weird that they get along now that they're not really sister wives. And so they're all watching Cody talk about it, and then this is Janelle's response to that. And without the, the noise of the plural marriage, all that just was able to come forward. So Janelle is basically saying that, you know, now that Cody is out of the picture, she can have a good relationship with Christine. The reason I am bringing this up is because I am rooting for Mary to have some sort of relationship with Janelle and Christine. And it doesn't have to be as close as they are to each other, but I hope one day that Mary can have some sort of friendship with them, even if it's very casual, even if they just get together once or twice a year with their kids. I hope Mary has a place with these two women because they do have so much in common and now Cody is out of the picture. So I hope that happens and I think, you know, Janelle is saying right there when Cody's gone, she can have a good relationship with Christine. I just hope the same thing happens with Mary as well. So the next thing I want to talk about isn't really a part of the show, but was a person that was on this episode and that is Mary's friend, Jen. We saw her in season 18 we've seen her before we see her on instagram if you're over there so we know who jen is but i really think she stood out during this episode because she is like a voice of reason for mary this is a really good friendship for mary and i hope that it lasts because i think mary needs her around there were so many times in this episode where Jen was voicing the concerns that viewers have and the feelings that viewers have about things that have happened. And she was saying them to Mary in a very polite way. She wasn't being aggressive or accusing anyone of anything. She would just politely or sometimes in a fun way, she would point out things that didn't seem right to her. And I know that many of us feel the way that Jen feels. So I am glad there is this friendship there. I'm going to go ahead and throw in a clip here of Jen talking to Mary about something that just seemed weird in the Brown family. Yeah, but you've been trying to build the relationship. And every time you try, like you're constantly disappointed. I know. So in that clip, Jen is basically pointing out to Mary that it really doesn't make a lot of sense that Robin is so upset about Mary leaving. Jen actually started that scene there by saying, why is she so upset? Like, why is this upsetting to Robin? It doesn't make sense. And so she just sort of talks to Mary and expresses her own thoughts about it and what she's witnessed. And she's saying, you know, Robin doesn't really work on this relationship with you. And this is what happens next. This is the follow-up to what they're talking about right there. Because every time I talk to you, you're like, well, we were going to do this, and then we didn't. Yeah. I don't understand, like, why she's upset then. So Jen is just pointing out that Robin is saying all of this, saying she wants relationships with the sister wives, but then she's not really working on the relationships. But what I like about Jen is she does it in a way that allows Mary to talk with her and communicate with her, but Mary doesn't get defensive. Like it's done in a way that Mary can actually talk about it and listen instead of her trying to defend her actions and defend Robin and Cody because Mary does that a lot. So I just like the way there is this friendship with Jen and Mary. Like Jen knows when to tread lightly with Mary. So as the con conversation continues on though, Jen doesn't really back off of what you can see she's leading up to. She doesn't, she doesn't get any more assertive. It's still a nice conversation, but this is what Jen ends with. This is what Jen's opinion is. Mary says, Robin was sad because she really wanted sister wives. And this is Jen. This is what she says. Like ultimately, I think she was still hopeful. But that's kind of selfish because even though she wanted it, there was nothing for you. Yeah. 
So Jen is just expressing what so many of us were thinking watching that show and the way she does it with Mary seems to work very well with her. So I don't know. I just like her friendship and I liked watching them talk about things there on this episode. And before I move on from Jen, I do want to put in one more clip where I really, really liked her being on there. And that is when they were re-watching Mary and Robin and Cody sitting out at Coyote Pass and they were sort of having that final conversation where Mary is saying she's leaving the family. And then Robin starts talking over Mary. Like she's facilitating this meeting or something. Like she's trying to be some sort of mediator and she's talking over Mary and Mary stops her. Jen comments on that. And I'm glad that she is there telling Mary that that was the right thing to do and sort of rooting for her. So I'm gonna put that clip in here. Okay, first of all, I'm so glad that you had her stop talking over you and trying to like, what, Robin explain? Even though Robin thinks she's the only one who can speak Cody, you know, I think Mary, Christine, and Janelle are able to do it as well. And there is just a time that Robin needs to not talk. And it was there during that moment, sitting at the picnic table out at Coyote Pass. And since I'm on the topic of that picnic table conversation with Cody and Mary and Robin, I'm gonna bring up another moment in this rewatch that happened that stood out to me and it's another issue with like it's not an issue it's just another moment where Robin makes a face and it actually was sort of funny because I feel like a lot of us had a reaction in this moment when we watched it the first time and this is Robin actually reacting to herself so let me put the clip in here so you guys can see it you never know if Cody and I are gonna stay together <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. So that's the bad joke. And here is Robin's reaction. Just look at her face here. I think she realizes now it wasn't the time or place for that sort of joke. And honestly, I don't know when it is the right time or place for that. It's just not funny. Another part of this that I really loved was Janelle talking about how Cody wasn't the only person that made sacrifices you know that's one of Cody's big things he points out all the sacrifices that he has had to make and all the things that he has had to do Janelle basically makes the point of saying he wasn't the only one and she is bringing this up when he they're doing the rewatch and he had just told Mary that it was all a performance it was all an act and this is Janelle's response to that you know, I wonder if he realizes that there were some of us who were doing the same thing. A part of me really hopes that one day Cody watches that and understands that he wasn't the only person that made sacrifices and he wasn't perfect. There were times that they weren't all madly in love with him, but they stayed because they were also sacrificing and they were committed to their marriages. But I just don't think Cody will do that because he never seems to have any self-awareness and he doesn't seem to understand other people's emotions very well. So I don't think he will do it, but it would be nice if he did. And I'm glad that Janelle said it. I hope he watches that and gets to hear it at least. Maybe one day he'll get it. And before I end this, I do want to talk about a few more moments where I think Jen was bringing up things that Mary really needed to hear. And one of the times was when they were talking about how Robin and Cody had made an agreement early in their marriage that if it wasn't working, they were free to go. And Jen says to Mary, why was that even an agreement they made at the beginning of their marriage? It doesn't make sense unless something was happening, like Cody complaining about you, Christine, or Janelle. If he was complaining about you guys and your marriages, then she might have said, let's make sure that never happens to us. And let's agree that we'll let each other go. And you can see Mary sort of have this moment where it clicks and she's like, he was probably complaining about us back then. He was probably unhappy and talking to Robin about it. Now, we don't know that that's really what happened, but it does make sense. And Jen points it out. And there is another moment where they're rewatching and Robin is talking about how she wants to encourage Mary and Cody to try to work it out and wait for another day to actually separate like hold on a few more days and Jen points out how ridiculous it is and I'm going to leave you guys with that clip um, that's the last thing I'm going to put on here so if you haven't already go ahead and click like and subscribe if there's something you think I missed during this episode go ahead and leave a comment down below but here is Jen 
being the voice of reason for Mary. Yeah, don't make a decision today because for the last seven years, things have been peachy keen. I'm sorry, this is again, it's selfish.